draw looms in Worcester stalemate. A fertile innings from Essex saw five batters score over 50 runs, two of them going on to reach 100, including captain Tom Wesley. That saw them rack up 561 runs, declaring when eight down, and the pair's reply already underway at 37 for none. The opening pair of Mitchell and Libby picked up where they'd left off, 50 runs their first target. That was reached early in the session. Libby showed his intent. He came down to Harmer and sent him soaring over the boundary. The hosts start off to a flyer, almost 100 runs on the board after a little more than an hour. They find their way to three figures, and Mitchell swiftly followed that by flashing Snater to the boundary, 50 runs up for the pair's opener. But the Nelson would strike, all ones on the board, when Harmer found turn to remove Libby for 41. Mitchell wouldn't be far behind. Two wickets in 45 minutes, pretty quick going for New Road this season, his innings brought to an end by Harmer for 67. And then there was a third for the spinner, two balls later, Roderick bowled for a duck, and the pair's serene start had given way to a bit of trouble. Fell and Dolivera had a bit of a rebuilding job on their hands, and they made a good fist of it. The former found the boundary, while the latter soaked up pressure. And they played their way to a 50 partnership, the score now almost 200. Dolivera started to score as well, and he got them there. He was now finding the boundary, and Essex's early success was starting to disappear from view. Try as they might, the visitors couldn't find another breakthrough. The two remained all the way through to T, reached with the score 219 for 3. Fell East Harmer through the covers at the resumption to reach his half century. Dolivera wasn't too far behind him. He picked up his 50 off 115 balls. It was hard graft for the bowlers on this flat wicket, but the new ball provided some extra life. Sam Cook removed Tom Fell for 53. The seamer had found some venom late in the day. Ricky Vessels lucky to survive this chance, the ball rolling to the boundary to take Worcestershire past 250. And there were a few more uncertain shots as the day wound down, none more so than the one that brought about Dolivera's demise. He fiddled at one from Snater, furious at himself, he'd have to go. Vessels and Cock learnt from their erstwhile colleague's mistake and dug in, the score ticking towards 300 and then passing it as the day wore towards the close. They were resilient in the evening light, and when they did reach the close, the score was 302 for 5.